According to the Electoral Commission, the March 18 governorship election in Adamawa was cancelled due to overvoting. Einig noted that council vote in the election were more than the margin of victory between the incumbent Adamawa State Governor and People's Democratic Party candidate Ahmad Fintri and the runner-up Binani of the APC. Few days after the election was declared inconclusive by Einig, the old Progressive Congress governorship candidate Aisha Tubinani have alleged that results of 16 local governments were rigged in favor of the incumbent. Both as the supplementary poll draws near, both APC and the PDP are confident of winning the election. It is a very clear victory for the APC. It is a very, very clear victory. The PDP has lost this election. And we will not step down from that position that we want these, you know, beavers revisited. We want a review of the beavers. Everybody should stay calm. Everybody should continue doing, you know, what they're supposed to do. When the time comes, if we are going in, you know, we, we will definitely tell our people. And then uh, if we've taken any, any other option, we'll also inform them. So uh, we know, uh, you know, we are still in contact with... Uh, our people and uh, our supporters, you know. So we believe it's the question of time. Uh, we are doing our best uh, to talk to our, most of our members uh, to make sure that uh, they go out peacefully and exercise their right by casting their vote. And uh, also to make sure that uh, what they casted uh, was announced by the INEC. So we are just appealing to INEC to make sure that they, they do justice and fairness uh, to the to the electorate, we people Adam has said we already make our choice. We tell the whole world, we show the whole world that we vote for PDP, we vote for Amado Morifinti to come out and continue his good work. So the issue of inconclusive is not new to Adam has said. It's not new to PDP. We have been winning inconclusive even in 2019. That's why I'm used to say that 2019 is repeating itself in 2023. On security for the supplementary election, the Adam command of the Nigeria place arch candidates and their supporters to see the exercise as an election and not war, avoid inflammatory statement. We are always proactive and being also very proactive in all that we do. We have uh, designed another security template. We are now re-strategizing to see how we are going to cover these areas, make it conducive, well secured for electorates to go and exercise the processes. So be rest assured that we are planning and we are planning very well. All we need is safety of lives and properties. And we are going to at least see that much is done in securing these environments. The Independent National Electoral Commission explained that 42,785 are the number of registered voters in the 69 polling units that the supplementary election will take place, other than that out of the number, 37,706 permanent voter cards were collected. Silas Lewin, Trust TV News, Yola.